Well, the NBA regular season tips off tomorrow, and over the past few years, you might have noticed a lot of Canadians playing in the league. Rising stars like Shea Gilgis Alexander, RJ Barrett, Shaden Sharp are all playing for some of the best teams in the league. These players all come from Canada. They have something else in common that's Dwayne Washington. He coached them all at his elite basketball academy, U Play, and he's here now with more on how he's turning Canada into a hotbed for talent. It's great to have you in. Thank you for having me. Thank I you. I saw you looking at those pictures. You're nodding, you're smiling. <laughs> you obviously feel a lot of pride. Absolutely. I feel a, a pure sense of joy, and I'm energized and motivated to continue helping more youth. So for me, every time I see it, it's, it never gets old. Yeah, so let's talk about how you're helping youth. Dwayne, how do you look at a player who's good and then turn them into someone who's great? Well, we look for athletes who dare to be different. We look for athletes who are comfortable trying to explore their, how great they can be. And what we do is we try to help them alleviate FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And by doing that, we unlock the key that allows them to explore, you know, how great they can be through a series of exercises and experiences, which only we can provide at the level that we play at. I've never heard that before. FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And doubt, absolutely. Because most human beings, a lot of things that stop their growth is the fear of why, what might happen. But we'd like to question, why not? Why not me? And once you tap into that, the glass half full, it changes your whole perspective. And instead of, uh, instead of worrying about how you look, you focus on the process instead of the product. And it helps a lot. Yeah, I imagine there's a certain type of kid who can do that. Absolutely. Kids who understand that they have goals that they want to set and they will do anything to do it. So for example, trying to eliminate any distraction is the key. And if you're able to do that with the support system that we provide, it makes it attainable. Yeah, we're showing some video here. Are these some of the kids who have gone through your program? Absolutely. Oh, there you can see you guys there. Oh, so the list, the list of players you coach uh, in the NBA is just getting longer and longer and longer. We mentioned a few at the start of the segment. For you, uh, as the man behind the scenes, when you look at the, the kids who are now adults and they're on the court, what is that like for you, seeing so many of them make it to the pros? I feel a sense of accomplishment, but it makes me hungrier because I realize it's more youth, more students who can actually get to those levels. But we don't just focus on the NBA. We have countless alumni who are on all walks of life. We have doctors, lawyers, firefighter, firefighters, and they take the skills that we teach them into their everyday life. Most people are not gonna make it to this level, but you can still have those transferable skills that we help to instill. Well, and Dwayne, so many people who go through your program end up going to post-secondary because of basketball. Absolutely. So the goal of Uplay, Uplay is an acronym for United Public Leadership Academy for Youth. And we're trying to build the leaders of tomorrow, looking at the scholastic. So our main goal is to get them a head start in life so that they can, you know, do what they want to do and not worry about the finances, using athletics to, you know, overcome and get through their academics. Well, I was saying to you right before we came on camera here for our conversation as a parent, that for me is the top goal. You're creating good humans. Absolutely. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create leaders. We're trying to give back. We want to pass the baton to the next generation so that we can create an institution, a safe place for those who want to do great things in sports, specifically in the sport of basketball. And I think we provide that. The last seven years, we've had 10 guys in the NBA. So that's 10% of our graduating alumni. We have more NBA players than most countries. And so we're really proud of that. But we're just getting started. We're in year 16. And I think in four more years, we'll be at the 20. 20th year of Mark, and I think, you know, hopefully we can start getting the support, the financial support facilities that we're looking for. I know it's tough, but we're going to keep pushing. Dwayne, what is it about Canada that makes us such a hotbed for basketball? Well, Canada is a perfect blend of athletes who are hungry, coaches who are curious to how to get, you know, to get better, and parents who are passionate and pushing their kids. And when you have, you know, Toronto Raptors around and you have a lot of clubs really, uh, Push, uh, improving their skills and we're so close to the United States is we're able to kind of get a cheat code, seeing how they do it and taking it and actually, you know, e evolving it into something great, which only Canada can do. Well, that's awesome. Dwayne, thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.